my interest in directing, I think, began one out of just out of curiosity. Uh, I mean, I was on a set. I mean, I, I sort of had imagined that I would have an acting career and perhaps I would direct later on. I mean, much later on, but I, I didn't really know what it meant. I just thought, I remember Paul Newman had directed a movie when I was, you know, a kid. And I thought, oh, well, he's, I'd seen him act in all these movies and then he directed his wife. And I thought, well, maybe, you know, I'll do something like that. Maybe I'll, I'll act and then at some point I'll direct. But I didn't really quite know what it meant. I had directed one play because in high in uh, college because I had taken a directing class. And so I had to direct a, a play, a one act. And uh, I wasn't sure if I would really know what to do. I was very much into acting at that point and not that interested in directing. I wasn't quite sure if I would know what to do, if I would have a clear picture of where people should move or how they should play the roles. To my happy surprise, I, I did. I mean, I just had thoughts about it. You know, it was sort of clear to me how I thought it should be shaped and how it, how it should go. And so that was comfortable for me. And I thought, well, that's, that's interesting. And I, and I, and I, and I kind of liked it. Not to the exclusion of acting. I still wanted to be an actor, but I, I liked it. So that was the first toe in the water for me was in college. But when I came out here to be an actor, that's what I was focused on. And then, um, as I said, beginning with Sisnik, I sort of thought about it. But then, of course, when I was on The White Shadow, we were doing a film show and we were there, you know, really shooting it like a movie, uh, the interest became more intense and much more focused. And so uh, I was at some point bored on the show because we had a lot of characters to serve. And not every week did I have challenging work to do. Not every week was I the focus of the story. So I had a lot of time on my hands. So I'm on a TV show, but yet I have a lot of time on my hands. So I would come in on my days off and I would watch the process. I'd watch and I would talk to the camera operators and all these people who people rarely interview, but mm -hmm. they like to talk about what they do and they think they know a lot about filmmaking. And so they were very open about talking about what they did or I'd talk to, you know, whatever, the, the production designer or the sound man or whatever. I would just talk to everybody about you know, what they did in the process. Uh, and people would say, why are you, what are you doing here? It's your day off I'd say well I'm just you know just hanging out just learning just watching and and I was and I was just learning for myself because I wanted to understand how everything happened I would say well, you know why do you shoot a close-up when do you shoot the close-up why do you shoot an over the shoulder what's the difference and why are you what choices are you making I would talk to the, the guest directors who would come in right. so all these conversations I really used the white shadow as my own film school and then I eventually had um I eventually had the opportunity um, um, to talk to Bruce about it because he noticed I was there. I said, well, why are you coming in? And what do you want? I said, well, I think oh, I'd like to direct. I'm just learning. And so then we had a conversation about um, what would that involve, you know, for him from on his end and what did he think I should do? And that's when, you know, we talked about the editing room because I hadn't spent any time in the editing room. And so I did. Um, and, um, you know, just got more and more interested in, in directing and pursued it uh, before I got my chance to do it in the second year.